Greetings, this is the firehead as seen from Big Bar Rest Area in Gold Country. And uh, that's just north of Clinton and south of the Chasm Ecological Reserve. Using the Canadian Wildland Fire Information System in order to see what's happening. And this is going back July 6, when a fire broke out just south of Ashcroft. The fire forces the evacuation of Cache Creek, and then with winds it crosses the highway and works its way towards Loon Lake. On the 15th, the winds flare up and drive the fire to 52,000 hectares. Crews work on the ridge and the plateau above the Bonaparte Valley and hold the fire back, putting out spot fires that are leaping ahead and holding the fire head. Uh, here we're looking at the infrared spots that show up on satellite where the hot spots are. So here's looking at the area, and this is the fire approaching on the 15th and the 16th. And on the 17th, they, the weather changes and blows the fire back on itself. On the 18th and 19th, crews are able to hold back the fire, and we're seeing a lot of burning of uh, hot spots in the firehead area. Here's a close-up and uh, you can see where they're extinguishing many of the former hotspots. Um, the fire line is approximately eight kilometers from the lookout and approached up to three kilometers from the Bonaparte River. If it would have caught up the other side, that would have been a very scary situation. We'll take a look at Windy, and this is a close-up of the area, and uh, it's the winds have died down, but they're also coming from the appropriate direction now. And uh, the chasm has a very unique wind system. It's shaped a little bit like a crow's foot, with the uh, two chasms being the talons on the left hand side and the Bonaparte River being on the right hand side. And that causes um, favorable wind conditions. Looking at today, the clouds have rolled in. Uh, the moisture level is up. We're getting a few millimeters of rain. The winds are blowing from the west, and that's very favorable for the chasm and Bonaparte. Looking midday on the 20th, and the forecast also looks for cloud cover and potentially, hopefully, some moisture on the 21st. And we're going to look at the Thompson Nicola Regional District evacuation map and the fire perimeter on there, and you can see the proximity to Clinton and the Chasm Park. And it came within 12 kilometers from the lookout point at the Chasm and about 8 kilometers from the lookout at Big Bar. The, the West Fraser Mill was approximately 10 kilometers away and they were put on alert and those spot fires were being thrown ahead of the fire front you know a kilometer 500 meters at a time and I really want to commend the crews again for handling that. As of 5 p.m. on the 20th the highway is still closed north of Cache Creek because they're dealing with that western flank on the Elephant Hill fire and Highway 24 is stopping traffic heading north to 100 Mile House, but you can still get through to Clinton. The only other evacuation route really was uh, via Clinton to Pavilion and down to Lillooet. In order to verify the wind data, I'd refer to the cam at Big Bar and look northward. If uh, smoke was covering the road, then we knew the wind was blowing from the southwest. And if it was cleared off, we knew that it was verifying visually that the wind data was blowing from the west. 
and this was a good indicator to keep tabs on the wind activity. I'm looking at the infrared hotspots again, and uh, the crews have done a wonderful job knocking everything down. Uh, there are a few that are being blown on the southeast flank, and those are coming from these westerly flows, uh, which is doing a great job helping out on the northwest flank. So they're still on that, and there's lots of work still to be done mopping up this fire, and the hazard is not over yet. If something changes or the winds flare up, those hot spots could start casting sparks north again, so we're very nervous. To collect this data, I've been using the Canada uh, Wildlands Wildfire Satellite Imagery, and I've been using the Thompson Nicola Regional District Evacuation Map and Drive BC's webcam at Big Bar. And I've been relying on the data displayed at windy.com, and which is verifies what I'm seeing on the highway cam. And of course, uh, great gratitude uh, to the wildfire fighters, the helicopter pilots, uh, the, that fleet of uh, water bombers, and uh, all the people on the ground uh, were hoping that you have the winds in your favor and uh, everything works out for you. From all of us, thank you.